Well, hey folks, it's a snowy day on the mountain today, so I'm just puttering around in the workshop, and it's a good day for it. Now, not long ago, I went to my other cabin, and I brought home a truckload of coffee cans and jars and boxes of different kinds of fasteners and nuts and bolts and little doodads and you name it. All the must-haves for a workshop. Now, just yesterday, one of our friends on Patreon asked me if I would make the video that I spoke of a while back, where I want to share the technique that I came up with for organizing all of these small items and staying organized. So, I'm in the workshop. It's crappy outside, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make that video right now. Now, I think it's pretty safe to say that anyone that has a workshop, or maybe you have a hobby, or you're a crafter, that you have at least one of these little drawer units. All right? Or maybe you're old school, you learn from your dad or your granddad, uh, and you have a bunch of baby food jars with the lid screwed to the ceiling or to the bottom of the shelf or something like that. Hey, they're clear, you can see what you're looking for, and there it is, you grab the jar, unscrew it, get your item, slick, works great. It works great if you only have a small amount of these things, maybe a few dozen baby food jars, give or take. But when you have hundreds of containers of fasteners, it doesn't matter if they're clear or not. <laughs> You can be looking for what you want, and after a while you overlook everything just because you got blinded by it all. My workshop in New York, I had a bunch of mayonnaise jars, you know, mayonnaise jars, and they were clear. But like, you know, you're looking for a quarter inch washers and there's so many things that forget it. Or, and I'm sure you guys can relate to this, that you need a fastener of some type. You know you have a lot of them. You can't find them. You can go nuts looking in all these little drawers. You give up and off to the hardware store you go. I know how maddening that can be. So I have come up with a solution for this and it works awesome. At first it's going to sound like kind of a daunting task, real tedious, but it's really not. Because as I'm putting the stuff away, I'm writing it in the ledger. And from that day forward, anytime I want something, I can find it. So let me show you what I do. All right, so in my workshop, at this point in time, I've got these little drawers. And I number them all. Okay? Then I have these coffee cans up here. They go all the way around my workshop up there. All right? And then here... I've got these pickle jars. <laughs> these are Claussen pickles, all right? And they're all numbered. So the coffee cans are numbered, the pickle jars are numbered, the little drawers are numbered. We are numbered. All right, for starters, I number all of the drawers, all of my coffee cans, pickle jars, whatever type of jar I have. I number them before I even put anything in them. For example, I came home from New York, I had big boxes, little boxes, salsa jars, coffee cans, plastic coffee cans, this type of coffee can. I had little drawers. I, I had a mixture of all different kinds of vessels. All right, Here, I want to have it look a little bit better. So, you saw how I have this set up. Everything is numbered. Then I take a coffee can or a box, whatever it was, let's just say it was inch and a half roof and nails. I put them into appropriate sized vessel and then I write them in my ledger. I like to use a loose leaf binder. That way I can add pages if need be. I just take some tape and I stick on these little tabs and it's just roughly alphabetized A through Z okay and then as I'm putting stuff away let's just say for example 
my axe wedges, you know those little wedges that you use to pound in an axe head, I put those in a drawer. LD just stands for little drawer. Pretty clever, huh? <laughs> now, if all I had was little drawers like that, then I would just number them, one through whatever it takes. But here, I've got little drawers, okay? I got coffee cans, those are CC, and those over there are PJs, pickle jars, all right? Just makes it easy for me, but like I said, label yours however you want. So I put my axe wedges away in LD5. Go over here, I need an axe wedge. So there they are, man, axe wedges. I need one, there they are. When I'm writing stuff in my book, I write it down with the same name that I would use if I was saying to someone, hey, hand me a jigsaw blade, okay? So I'm going to look it up as jigsaw blade. I go on to J. Jigsaw blades are in LD 110. Ha ha ha, whole bunch of them. Now, like drywall screws, okay? I might want to list them as screws and then categorize it as a drywall screw or write it down as drywall screws. Well, it takes two seconds to write it in more than one spot. You see what I'm saying? So under D, I have drywall screws, but then on, under S, I have screws and then I have drywall there. So it's easy for me to find what I'm looking for. You see what I'm saying? This simple little method saves me a bunch of money because I have tons of fasteners, hinges, all kinds of things that I have collected over the years. And now I know where to find it. Okay? Like magnets, right? I know I have magnets kicking around. Every now and then you need a little magnet. You never can find the damn magnets. Here we go. Magnets are in LD26. Let's see. <laughs> There's the magnets. I know I got gate hooks. Let's see. Where are gate hooks? All right. Go to G, page G, gate hooks right there. CC29. 2829. Look at all the gate hooks. I'm telling you, it's that easy. Remember when we had to go and get our film developed? But remember, they came in those little containers. How handy those are for little things, right? Film containers are in LD85. Hold on. Okay. Film containers. These go way back. Aluminum ones? Are you kidding me? Huh? You know where I got these? Out of my dad's stash. But he didn't have them organized. Look at this old dude right here, huh? Is that a little gem? <laughs> when we bought film, it was in these plastic ones, but these are handy. You never know when you're going to need one, but I know where they are. <laughs> They're in LD85. Now you see how easy that is? I have a lot of stuff, folks, and I know where it all is, and it takes me two seconds to find it. As I put it away, I write it in my ledger, all right, like I just showed you. I want something, look it up, go find it. So there you go, folks. If you do this, you certainly won't regret it. This has worked out fantastic for me and saves me a lot of money because I don't have to go buy duplicates of what I already have. Neither will you. <laughs> so if you do this and you put it on your YouTube channel, Tell folks where you got the idea, huh? Because what comes around goes around. So share the love. All right. Frank and the boss out walking in the woods, living life happy and free. Tracks in the snow everywhere they go, there's a pokey way up in that tree. A beaver built a pond where they have some fun Taking life a day at a time Best friends until the end Frankie and the boss Frankie and the boss Frankie and the boss